So today we're working on a 2007 uh, Dodge Ram 2500 HD, big horn, the Cummins diesel as you can hear, and the MIL is on. So we're going to scan it and see what codes it's got in it. So I've already scanned it and it has a current code P0243 turbocharger supercharger wastegate solenoid circuit code. Now I put a turbocharger on this thing as it says here. Uh, September 18. That was a complete turbocharger assembly. I'm sure it came with the solenoid as well, but I'm not 100% certain of that. Uh, in the history here, if I go through the history here, if I go back to 2018, there's the code in 2018. Come on, focus. It was an overboost code because the wastegate was stuck. P0234 turbocharger supercharger A overboost. And now it's got. P0243 turbocharger supercharger wastegate solenoid so we'll have a look at the wastegate solenoid and see if there's anything obviously wrong with it here's the troubleshooting uh, information and I think it was P0243 there's the information in troubleshooter in the snap-on Varus edge here ECM detects an open or short circuit in the wastegate solenoid circuit. Possible causes damaged harness, wastegate solenoid, fused ignition switch output open, and the solenoid open. And last but not least, an ECM. So we're going to have a look at that solenoid. So to see the turbocharger wastegate solenoid, which is down here, right there, you pretty much have to remove the air induction piping here. So I've taken off the air induction system and physically looking at the solenoid wiring down here it looks intact I don't see any obvious breaks in it uh, so we're gonna check for power at this solenoid and uh, possibly see if we can command it on with the scan tool check continuity through the solenoid as well I we have the solenoid disconnected and the ohm meter connected across the two terminals of the solenoid and at 40 ohms it's infinite or over 40 ohms I'm sure it's supposed to be low like 20 yeah it's over 4,000 so the solenoid has failed open for some reason I don't see any breaks in the wire I'll have a closer look at that maybe peel that loom off but I'm sure the solenoid has failed internally and I'm going to check the uh, power supply as you can see I've got two test leads across there I'm going to put a noid light on there and see if I can command it on so there's no uh, bi-directional test to command that solenoid on but what I did was I'm going to clear the codes on it now and I've got that noid light connected across the solenoid I've reconnected the mass airflow sensor and as you can see there are no codes present check it one more time so that circuit is not open I'm going to disconnect that noid light and see if that code returns instantly Well, that's kind of nice to know. With the key on engine off, the noid light connects it across that solenoid. It appears to be commanded on all the time. Uh, I'm sure that if I disconnect that solenoid or that noid light, I'm going to have that P0243 code return. I'm going to just reach down here and unplug this. I just used a throttle body Chevy injector nut test light. And it says no codes present. Read codes. 
and there we go p0243 code is returned so definitely needs a solenoid i don't know why it's failed well i think that solenoid should come with a defibula defibrillator turbocharger wastegate solenoid 993 dollars what the hell is it gold plated or something that's just freaking ridiculous it's just a solenoid why is it so expensive wow and where are they and uh, nowhere Winnipeg well I'm gonna check on potential warranty I'm sure that solenoid came with the turbocharger that was installed like a year ago just over a year ago I gotta check the mileage on the vehicle now